Have you ever been on a website where you've clicked on a link and instead of it taking you to a different page or even to a different website altogether, it takes you to a different spot on that same page? Well, that's called an anchor or a bookmark. And today I'm going to show you how to do that with 90 Second Website Builder. Hi again, it's Greg Hughes with another video tutorial. And here I have in this example a page I'm working on where I want people to be able to link to different things uh, for support. So for example, here they're going to be able to link to a page that takes them to the support desk. And here they're going to be able to link to a page that takes them to a form where they can submit a question by email. But I've also got this area right here that I'm going to use in this demonstration. I want people to be able to click a link right here that actually takes them to what I call the FAQs or Frequently Asked Questions section of the website. But it happens to be on the same page. Actually, all I'm doing is I'm taking them down to this section of the page right here where the FAQs are where they can read and uh, find answers to their questions. So when you link to another spot of the same page, again, that's called an anchor. Sometimes it's called a bookmark. It's really simple to do with 90 Second Website Builder. First thing is we're going to create that bookmark or that anchor so that we have some place to link them to. Well, since I want to link them to this area of the page, I need to put something here to link to. That's where that anchor comes into play. So at the very top of the tools in 90 Second, we have this little, you'll see it even looks like an anchor, and it's sometimes called a bookmark. So I'm going to click on it and just draw this, right? Oh, let's draw it right up here. You will see in the design mode, we have this little anchor icon. That's actually invisible to the user once we publish or even when we preview. You won't see that little anchor. That's just so that we know while we're in design mode where our bookmarks are. It's also a good idea to name that bookmark something I can remember. So to do that, I just double click on it. Brings up its little window here. And by default, it's called bookmark one. But I'm going to call it something I can remember later. So I'm going to call it FAQs since that's where it lives, right by the FAQ section. Click OK. OK, so I've just basically created a bookmark. Um, there's no link yet, but now I have something to link to. And that's what that does. Now I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to create my link to that bookmark or to that anchor right here. You do that the same way you always create a link. You select the text that you want to link by dragging your mouse over it. And you can either right click or you can go up to this link button here. I'll do that brings up the hyperlink properties for this selected text. I am going to link to a page in this project. I'm actually going to link to the same page we're on, but I do need to select that page. So the name of the page we're on right now is called support, as you can see. So it may seem funny to say, well, we're creating a link from support to support, but you'll see why it'll make sense. First of all, I need to select the page I'm linking to, which is again, the page I'm on. And the reason I do that is because by selecting this page, the software now will present me with all of the bookmarks that are possible because a page could have a number of bookmarks and it needs to know which one we want to link to. Well, in my case, I only have one. So when I hit the pull down menu, there's the link that I called FAQs. And so it appears. See, if I were to pick a different page, like say demo, uh, there wouldn't be any bookmarks because there's no bookmarks on the page demo. That's how that works. But I picked the page support, of course, and we'll find the bookmark I just made called FAQs. And honestly, we click OK and we're done. That's actually the end. That's how it works. If we are to uh, preview this page and test it, which we can test because we're working on the same page here. Sometimes you, if you're going to test a link, you want to make sure you publish the entire website so you can test your navigation. But in this case, we can just test this one page because we're staying within the page. When I go down here and I click FAQs, you'll see, boom, it just basically scrolled me very quickly down to the anchor. Now you'll notice there's this white space above. And the reason for that is because if you remember right, I actually put the anchor right up here in the white space. And that's where the link is taking me to. It's hitting that anchor right there. If I would have put the anchor, say, in the gray area, I might have been able to make it appear like that. Let's try that because it actually would look better. So you can see, though, what all it's doing is it's taking me from one part of the page and scrolling me very quickly down to this part of the page. But let's change that a little bit, see if we can make it look a little snazzier. All I got to do is take this anchor. Remember, it's up here in the white spot. If I put it down just right into the, in fact, this is a layer. I'm putting it into the layer. 
let's see how that works. And remember, it ends up being invisible, so it's, it's okay if it sits too close to something. Okay, so let's hit F5. Let's try it again. I'm going to go right here, click FAQs, and boom, look at that. It took me right to the spot where the anchor is. looks much better. If you scroll up, you can see where we are. Try it again. Great. So that's really simple. Now, one other trick. What if you wanted to link to that specific spot on this page from a different page? Can we do that? In other words, can we link from one page, but specifically to this part of the page? The answer is yes. I'm going to go to another page here I have called How It Works. This is a web page where people can watch a video about how web hosting works. And I have a link here that says, click here to read the FAQs. Well, if I just send them to the support page with this link, they'll end up at the top of this page, which isn't horrible, but it doesn't say FAQs anywhere unless you really dig for it. You have to scroll down and find down here. So I would just send them directly to this part of the page I want them to get to, like that. Here's how we do it. So let's go back to how it works. Here's my link. I'm going to select the text. This time I'll right click, go to link. And I am going to link to the support page, which it's already doing right now. But instead of just sending them to that page, I can send them to the specific part of the page I called, there it is, FAQs, which is great. Click OK. So that's really how it works. If we were to publish this and click this link, people would go from this link directly to this part of the page right here. That's called an anchor or a bookmark. It's a really great tool and it's just one more way for you to create excellent and clear navigation for your visitors as you're building your website with 90 Second Website Builder.